Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make a small pot with herbals inside and here I am making a mold for the pot. So I'm cutting out a square where the sides are a bit angled uh, inwards so the bottom piece of the square is smaller than the top piece of the square. Um, and I'm just making it really really small here and shaping it. I placed it on a toothpick so I had something to work with and I am using a tiny bit of baby uh, powder to make it non-sticky. You might have to put a little more baby powder on it before you continue here after picking. I rolled out a piece of clay, a piece of black clay in a thin setting on my pasta machine, cut the edge off here and slowly wrap it around my little mold or the shape that I have here, making sure it is not overlaying at all and cutting it into the size. I'm taking my time to smoothen out the connections so you don't see it and then I am going to cut off the excess clay at the bottom of this little pot. I'm making sure that the clay is following the little pattern that I have on the inside here. Just remember it can be a little loose on the little mold because of the baby powder but you want it to be like that otherwise you can't get it off when it's bacon. Now we are making the bottom, I'm just placing it on top of a piece of this clay, cutting it off in the right size and then I am softening the connections so you don't see it at all. Take your time with this. Then I rolled out another piece of clay in the same setting and I'm making a tiny thin ribbon here, cutting off one end so I have a nice starting point and I'm wrapping that around the top of my pot here to make a nice uh, little thicker edge around the pot. And again do not make it overlay and when you have it all the way around you just cut off the excess and smoothen out the connections so you don't see it. It should be fairly easy to get the little pot off the uh, mold here, but you can bake it in the mold to keep the shape. Make as many pots as you need or as you want to. Then I am taking some normal green and some light green and I am mixing that together to a uniform color. And I'm just rolling it out in a little sausage here to make it a little easier for me. You don't have to do this. But then I'm just cutting off tiny pieces here of that. And I am taking these small pieces and rolling them into a tiny ball. And then I'm just rolling them to a long thin snake like you see me do here. And I make a lot of these. Really a lot of these. I baked everything together, the pots and the chives, uh, that is what we are making here. I'm taking some brown clay and I'm stuffing it into one of these small pots here, just filling it up. Not too much, but you want it to be all full. And I'm actually doing two of these right here because I have enough for two pots with chives. Then I'm taking a tiny bit of female liquid and placing on my work surface so I can dip my chives in that before I put them into my little pot. Some of these are very long so I am cutting them into two pieces. And now I'm just filling up these small um, pots here with the chives one by one and it's a big job to do but the result is really worth it so just keep on doing this until the little pot is all full. I'm going to make both of my pots and then I will bake it. So that is all for the video today. I hope you liked it and if you did 
please give it a like for me. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.